something to be chubby in that country chubby. when you got half the country yeah. dying of see, hunger. You wonder how they must, what they must think. Yeah. They're sitting there, they haven't eaten in three days, yeah. and you see this guy with cheeks like this. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> eating turf, and a dog is a delicacy, and they're looking, you look yeah. awfully well fed. Not even Here's what we're buzzing about at News Beast. This cover seems to have caused some controversy on the right. Andrew Sullivan asking why Obama's critics are so dumb. We're going to get into that, but first, the cheats. Michael Daly, welcome aboard. How are you, man? Thank you. I like there's a story about the accents are way up among people who wear, walk around wearing earphones. And uh, I have to tell my kids all the time. I mean, because they walk around, you know, I mean, it's dangerous. The world is a full These of hazards. These are people walking on the street with walking earphones Walking on the street, driving? driving, bicycles, driving shopping. Yeah, at some point, this getting is on Darwinism elevators. takes I mean, it's over, insanity. It? To me, <laughs> the far greater threat, actually, is the, is the smartphone texting. Email. Oh, yeah, well, that's much worse. It's, I, I find that I, and I don't have great hand-eye coordination, but I can walk and listen. What I have a lot of trouble doing is walking and typing. Walking, walking and typing and looking down? I walk into, I'm one of those horrible people who just, who just barrels down the sidewalk. I would like to see someone do that note, walk in an open manhole cover. Just because. not nice. Well, just, I. Seen that. Charlie Chaplin? But, you know, <laughs> I was criminals going for black love and white. It. Criminals shtick. love it. It's oh, the of best course. thing that ever happened for muggers. I mean, there's never been a jogger in Central Park who's been mugged who wasn't wearing earphones. Great point. I think that's a bulletproof statistic, right? No, I We're think it, it absolutely is. I went and I looked at all the women who've been assaulted in Central Park jogging. Oh, well, that's. Were wearing I, earphones. I actually. Pretty much anything Including on the, the subject one. of mugging, I've, I'm going to go with Michael Daly Michael on, Daly. as opposed to Rebecca <laughs> Dana. But Rebecca Dana. I'm a mugging authority. You <laughs> mugger. Um, <laughs> I am interested in this really incredible cruise ship saga in Italy. Still? It, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. first of all, the pictures are incredible. So just from the journalist, like yeah, a yeah. pure journalist, you know, forgetting about the human cost point of view, it's just staggering to look at the ship. It is a, an that, amazing photo. It's incredible, but then this captain, I mean, it's, in, it's, it's really amazing how quickly the, the cruise company was like, whoa, this captain is like a drunk buffoon. They totally <laughs> turned tail on him. And now there are reports that he was doing some sort of stunt for another crew member. Where so she would to, wave to yeah. assist her on yeah. the cruise. No, the wife. There was and a guy's was wife that would always go by. He was seen too. drinking at the bar shortly before this happened. I mean, this guy is, I, you know, I don't think the future is bright for him. But one yeah. question's been asked, though, is the company distanced themselves, and all of a sudden everybody, now people are saying, well, why was he the captain? Right. Well, that's a great question. Right. I mean, this guy, yeah. and he, he <laughs> ran off the boat as fast as he could. I mean, everybody knows that the captain is supposed to go down He's to a the pathetic ship. We captain. all saw Titanic 3D. So, so my cheat is is Kim Jong Il's other son, who's going all Fredo on his younger brother, who's <laughs> taken is. over the country. I love this. This guy's name is uh, uh, Kim Jong Nam. And Kim Jong Nam is the brother who hangs out in Macau, yeah. and 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 he like gambles, and he's sort of a protectorate of the Chinese state. He also became famous and was knocked out of succession when he was busted in Japan for trying to sneak into Disneyland. That's right, this is yeah. the pathetic son, the <laughs> older son, the son that even yeah. Kim Jong Kim Jong Il was like, "You're a little too goofy for me." <laughs> <laughs> like, is there any way to get reality television cameras into North Korea? So good. This is this is like Shakespeare on laughing gas. I, has, that, has someone? This is a serious question. Has someone written? a book or something about this family. It must be done. It must be done. They're incredible. Yeah, and, and this, I mean, but this is, a, so he's predicting failure for his younger brother, who we called Kim Jong, uh, we, we had we had a, a Well, we were trying doughy. to come up with the great leader or the blank leader. The doughy leader, the I think, is what we chose. Leader. Yeah, which is, which is appropriate. For now, until it becomes There's something to be chubby in that country chubby. when you got half the country dying of <laughs> hunger. Yeah, and seriously. If you get people, I always you wonder how they must, what they must think. Yeah. They're sitting there, they haven't eaten in three days, yeah. and you see this guy with cheeks like this. Yeah, they're, they're eating <laughs> turf, and a dog is a delicacy, and they're looking, you look yeah. awfully well fed. There's not even any dogs around that haven't eaten. Not so. anymore. Yeah. All right, this cover. Who knew <laughs> that it would be controversial? Everyone hold up your Newsweek. So, exactly right. So why are Obama's critics so dumb? Andrew Sullivan doing a defense of Obama plan. But I think two things happened. First of all, the, the right-wing blogosphere said Newsweek is trolling us as, you know, en masse. <laughs> and, and then the other thing point people are making is, why is Andrew Sullivan making a better case for the administration than the administration itself? Well, that, I think, is a great point. I mean, I wonder what the, what the White House's reaction to, to this is. I mean, it's, it's 
say what you will about it, and people have called him stupid, fanatical, dishonest, a trig truther, which actually they have a point with that one. But the 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 we love you, Andrew. It's okay. We do love you, and you're a trig truther. Very smart and that was piece. Awesome. But <laughs> yes, it, yes. it was an incredibly smart piece, and and you have to think that inside the White House, they're they're on the one hand maybe really grateful, and on the other thinking like, what can we learn from this? Yeah, they should be I thinking mean, that. I wonder I mean, if they even do. the brilliant Andrew Sullivan. I mean. It, to me, the central issue is still race. I mean, one of the reasons that I think the White House hasn't been as kind of forthright throughout is that really, you know, he doesn't want to say that a lot of the original hate and a lot of the original criticism was they just didn't want a black guy in there. Yeah, I mean, I think and, when you do look at that initial explosion, the irrational, yeah. unhinged explosion, you know, it's, it's something that you know, might be the birth of white minority politics. It's clearly compounded by a bad economy. I don't think that's the majority of it. But when, it, when we look back at history, at the initial sort of collective freak out by it folks on so the far intense, right. It was so intense, so immediate. Yeah. It had to do with race. Final word, Michael Daly. Final word, read this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rebecca. Um, I'm going to go with Sully. All right. I'm going push back. That's all for us at News Beast today. We'll see you tomorrow. I like it. I got it. No, I, I got it. No.